speeding up your workflow. In Vray for SketchUp, it's necessary to create more renders with a higher quality. There is no time to wait. Let's start. This is my interior project with living room. And let's take a look at the settings. I go to the asset editor and here I have settings. As you can see, my quality is medium plus. I'm using V-Ray Denoiser and that's all for now. My render output is 9020 by 1080 pixels. Let's render and check the render time. The render time is five minutes and 47 seconds. For me, it's very satisfying result, but let's see what decide about rendering time. Firstly, and the most important is lighting. I go to the V-Ray Asset Editor and Lighting tab. Let's look at the values. For dome light, I have 70. It's the same with rectangle light. And for IES light, I have 10,000. It's quite high value, but for IES light, it's correct. Let's increase this value. And check the render time. This is my newest visualization with very intense lighting. I think that it's too bright, but it's not the main problem. My problem is render time. I see that it took 10 minutes and 38 seconds to create this visualization. Let's see that it took 50% more time than the previous visualization. So remember that proper lighting is very important to create faster visualizations. I go back to the previous intensities and let's move on to render elements. I go to the render elements and for now I have only light mix. For me it's the most important render elements because thanks to light mix you can change intensity and color of each light in post-production. But what if I create more render elements? I click on the create asset, render elements, hold left control on the keyboard, and select multiple render elements. Render ID, crypto mat, extra texture, lighting, global illumination, reflection, specular, and refraction. And now let's check the time of the visualization. And let's see that it took longer to create visualization with multiple render elements. Without render elements, it took five minutes and 47 seconds, and with render elements, six minutes and 25 seconds. So remember not to create too many render elements in your scene. Sometimes they are not necessary. Let's move on to heavy files. The most heavy models in the scene are curtains and accessories like flowers, sculptures, spoons, knives, and so on. Firstly, I will convert them into proxy. To do this, I click on the group, go to the top bar, and here I have export proxy. If you can't find this icon, just right click here at the top bar and choose V-Ray objects. Then select the group and click export proxy. Here you can choose the folder where you want to save the proxy, the preview type. Mostly I use refined clustering with 1000 faces and click export. And let's see that the file looks much different. We have less faces. Thanks to it, we'll work faster in SketchUp and the file will be lighter. I will do the same with all accessories and plants. My proxies are created and let's check the render time. To be honest, I thought that this render will be faster with proxies, but let's see that it took a little bit longer to create this render. But if you are using proxies, your SketchUp will be much faster and the file will be lighter. Let's take a look. I will say this file as interior model proxy. And if I compare these two files, the file with proxy is lighter. I think that it's very useful to use proxies. I use them very often. When I'm creating complex scene, they are necessary to work in SketchUp smoothly. Okay, but what if I hide accessories? As we know, they are the heaviest model in the scene. So I go to the text tab and hide accessories. Let's render the scene. Let's see that without accessories, the render took only one minute and 45 seconds. So if you want to create preview render, remember not to render accessories because they are not necessary 
to check the quality, color, composition of the render. Okay, but what about the texture resolution? Remember not to create materials with too heavy maps. For example, I go to the asset editor, lights, and here I have dome light. As we can notice, I created light using 4K resolution file. I go to the polyheaven.com and download 18K file. Let's say that this file is very heavy, 347 megabytes. I download it and upload it to the dome light. It's done. I unhide accessories and I check the render. The render with 18K resolution HDRI map took 8 minutes and 50 seconds, so it's longer. Let's see that I've changed only one map. With 20 high resolution maps, the render time would be longer and longer. The last but not least, let's see that the quality of the render is medium plus. If you choose high or high plus, it will take hours to create renders and the quality will be very similar to the medium plus with V-Ray Denoiser. Let's sum it up. Do not create too intense lighting. Do not create too many render elements if they are not necessary. Convert models to proxies. Your SketchUp file will be lighter and the work in SketchUp faster. If you are creating preview renders, hide heavy files like plants or accessories. Do not use too heavy maps and files because it will longer your render time. Remember about the quality, medium plus is enough. High and high plus quality will slow down your render time without a big difference in the quality. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel and leave a like. Check out my website edac.org with many SketchUp and V-Ray courses. See you soon. Bye.